Yo, 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 CPA Strength back again with another accounting video, my best turtle video ever. My best turtle video entry ever. We just gonna run with that. This is 125, you think I know how to do this by now, right? Come on, Man, let's have some fun. Let's just have some fun. Let's have some fun, think about this stuff. Here's my whole playlist, all my accounting for beginners playlist, best, best accounting playlist on the internet. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll give you a cookie for each one you do. What's that? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you do all four, I'll give you four cookies in the mail, two business days. This is uh, this is our Adams family on on April 1st, Adams and Family Inc. opened. And we're doing journal entries for it. So start at a 124. Look for the journal, the journal entry uh, playlist as well. This is the second one we've got. Paid three months rent on lease rental contract. On lease rental, all right. We leased a rental for three months and we're paying 4,500 right now in, uh, you can see on see on your, on your paper here where you got the question. We started the business um, April 1st. So this is April 4th we did this. So we didn't use any of the, uh, we didn't use any of the rent up yet. So we're prepaying the rent. How much are we prepaying? The amount of $4,500. A uh, little side note here, I was going through, there's like 20 something journal entries that we're gonna do all of these in this series. Um, and I was going at, and I was looking through the answers. Also, if you have a, um, if you have a practice test from one of your classes, send it in with the answers, uh, email it to me, door954 at gmail.com. And I'll, I'll use, it's gotta have the answers though. So I know what the answers are, so I don't do anything wrong. Anyways, okay. Paid three months of, paid three months rent on a lease rental contract, $4,500. What I was gonna say, what I was saying was that out of like these 27 journal entries, you know, 18 of them have cash in them, in the journal entry. And now you know, that's uh, so what I'm known for, debit credit, asset draw expense, uh, liability equity revenue. If they're going up, asset draw expense are going up, you debited them. If asset draw expense are decreasing, you credit them. If liability, equity, and revenue are increasing, you credit them. If liability, equity, and revenue are decreasing, you debit them. So you know that, you know debits have to equal credits. Never, never that, debit, credit. This is what you're gonna do as a new student, you're trying to figure this out, you don't know much. You know debits have to equal credits because we're doing a journal entry for this. And you've watched my other videos. If you haven't, I have, a, I have a couple of videos on just cash, a journal entry with cash. It's so important, receiving cash, getting, uh, spending cash. If cash is leaving your business or if, you're get, if your business is getting cash. I've done really a lot of videos on cash because as, as you can see, well you're gonna see uh, through your studies and everything that a lot, mostly all the journal entries have cash involved. Either you're receiving money or you're spending money. And that's gonna be all your journal entries. So if you know what to do with the cash, whether debit or credit it, you're gonna have half your problem, you're gonna get half your problem right. You're gonna have probably the right amounts too because most times it's one debit, one credit. So like in this case, let's just go. Paid three months rent on lease rental contract, $4,500. We've determined that you've had the, that you've had the lease for, th or you opened the business for three days, but you're now now you're uh, paying three months rent. So you got it in the past couple days, whatever. The most the most is like two days old or three days old, at least. So you're prepaying the whole thing, but for how much? Forty five hundred dollars. Forty five hundred dollars cash. Now you've got to know too. You've got to know, you just don't even. I even put it down here. Cash is an asset. That like like if you don't know if you know anything else besides DC Adler, know that cash is an asset. This will help you. This will help you get at least a 50 pro you know, like at least 50 on your exam. And if you're struggling, no, 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 50 is pretty good, right? Am I right? <laughs> you are you paid three months of rent. If you paid three months of rent, if you pay somebody money, do you have less money or more money? If you pay somebody money, you're gonna have less money. Your cash, your cash account is gonna be decreasing. You know cash is an asset. Let's look on DC Adler. Where's assets? Assets are right here. 
and if they're increasing, you debit them. We have our cash decreasing, so we're going to credit the cash for $4,500. So look, you know these have to equal. What? Why did now we now we're doing the other half of the journal entry? You always hear people say there's there's a two halves of the journal entry. There is there's a debit and a credit. It took me a long, 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 long time, like years, to kind of to, to be able to break the difference up because it always seemed to me I paid I paid three months of rent I paid three months rent forty five hundred always seemed like one thing. I just after doing thousands and thousands of journal entries I've I've. I figured it out kind of like what's where it goes where or how to break it up in between. So for the $4,500 outlay that you paid somebody, why did you do that? You did it for rent, prepaid rent. We determined we haven't, we're, it's, we haven't stayed there enough to pay for a month. So prepay, prepaid rent. We're, we're paying rent prepaying. So prepaid rent is an asset because you, you're, you're pre, a prepaid are assets because you haven't used it yet. And what are assets? Something to give you a future economic benefit. So that is gonna be, a, that's what an asset is. Something to give you future economic benefit. Now in this case, we have a prepaid account. We didn't have a prepaid account anymore. Now we have a prepaid, now we've prepaid 4,500. So we didn't have a prepay and now we have a prepay of 4,500. So our prepay account, our prepay rent account increased by 4,500. Uh, we've gone over a prepay. You're just gonna have to do these. You can write. You can write next to asset. You know, cash is asset. Prepay. Prepay is our asset. You can start writing that down on your paper every morning to help you out as well. Uh, another thing that I'm thinking of right now. Another another little side side note caveat is rent. If 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 you were paying, if you had already used the rent up, it would just it would be a rent expense. So. You're going to see rent expense a lot, but in this case, it's an asset because you're prepaying. There's all kinds of uh, pr things you would prepay for that would usually be an expense. In this case, it's an asset. So we have an asset increasing. And look, we have an asset decreasing our cash, and then we have an asset increasing. We've, we've gathered that prepay, a pr our prepaid rent is an asset in this, in this journal entry. So let's go to DC Adler, asset. If it is increasing, it'll be a debit. So that's what that's what we're gonna do. Pre, our prepaid rent is increasing, so it's gonna be so it's gonna be a debit. We're gonna go for forty five hundred, forty five hundred dollars prepaid rent. And I'm sorry, this was this was cash over here. So that's our journal entry. That's our journal entry. Account, accounting for beginners number one hundred and twenty five. Starting to feel the flow, starting to get the the niceness. If you're wa if you're watching this originally, tomorrow's going to be Thanksgiving. I hope you and yours have a great Thanksgiving. I'm going to be traveling to Tampa, stay with my boy and his family, and my buddy from high school and his family. It's just going to be great, and I really can't wait. So hopefully, you know, I'll look back on this and just be like, yeah, I mean, that was a good time. That was a great trip. Hopefully I'll have some video of the trip and then I'm going to see my aunt on Saturday. So I'm really blessed, really looking forward to have a great Thanksgiving weekend. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving weekend too. Because all in all, what do you got at the end? You got your memories. Everything else is going to fade away, but you got your memories. Which I'm, I, I, a lot of this is what I tell myself because I need to get out more. I need to be happy more. I need to live more. And I'm really feeling good right now. I just had a major major mental shift change today and I'm feeling really good. So anyways, uh, have a great Thanksgiving and I'm out CPA strength, I'm out deuces.